right. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Maybe you slept in. I got a little bit extra sleep. Hey, hey. Hey, if you come on here live, let me know you're here. Give me a little thumbs up. This is Mark Avens, The Daily Dose, episode 91. I didn't get eaten by a shark. If you watched yesterday's episode from The Atlantic, I made it in safe. I didn't even get stung by any jellyfish, so that was definitely a plus. I won my Saturday for sure. I stayed alive. And I hope you did too. I hope you're having a great weekend and uh, welcome to The Daily Dose. Just to share with you what The Daily Dose is, A Daily Dose of Encouragement 91 episodes ago, 91 days ago, I started this daily show on Facebook um, to just share some encouraging words, to give you some value to provide um, in, a, in a time where we're all just discouraged and angry and bitter. And I even find myself kind of going down rabbit holes and getting frustrated and, and angry and, and upset and, and, you know, it's it's one thing to respond the other thing to react and it's hard it's hard but i hope today and i hope this daily dose finds you well and i hope it provides you a bit of encouragement and uh, gets you maybe motivated inspired for the week ahead we're going to talk about tips to win your body back over 40. Um, i shared a several weeks ago maybe three or four weeks ago on a sunday about how to win your sundays and it kind of goes in lines with that but right now i want to talk to you about tips seven tips gosh there's so many tips uh, over the last 25 years, I've been helping people with tips to help win their bodies back, to help win their health back, to help get that weight off, to help get on a, on a, a healthier path, uh, and which is truly, in my personal opinion, a better path to be on. And I think you'd agree, a healthy path, a healthy path is the best path the best path to be on. So I don't know if that's a tongue twister. So we're going to we're going to share in the next few minutes seven tips to help you win your body back. And let's just talk about why do you want to win your body back? Well, I'm, you know, I'm getting older, Mark. I'm just okay with my body and and you know, I've I've realized that it's just not going to be what it used to be. And I've had children and I had a desk job for a while and and my metabolism's different. My hormones are changing and and I know, I know while those are the things that sometimes cross people's minds and it's an easy chance to give up or to make excuses or whatever it is. And not to say that you have to be, you know, like super lean and super fit, but the reality is a lot of people just are the other direction. They're kind of gone down that road of being unhealthy and overweight and not, you know, self-confident and not having an appreciation for their personnel. So I want to share with you some tips so you can win back your body. And I say body, win back your body and get on a really, really great path. So one of the things, you know, while I think I shared a couple weeks ago about on Sunday and I have the notes here, I have a book full of notes, 90 pages of notes, 91 pages of notes. And uh, we talked about habits to prepare yourself. And one of the things on Sunday is to sleep in. And I admit, I do sleep in a little bit on Sunday. But my morning typically is structured in the sense that I get up at 4.30. So, hey, good morning, by the way. Good morning, Gina. And good morning, S Samana. So sorry if I pronounce your name. And Mark and Shauna, good morning to you. Appreciate you for being on here. Thank you. Thank you. By all means, too, the only thing I ask in return for this, if, I, if this provides value to you, which I hope it does, and hope if you're spending the time listening to me that I provide a lot of value. And if I do, just share it with a friend. That's all I ask. Give me some thumbs up. Let me know you're here. Uh, feed off of that. Of course, we get those endorphin kicks from those likes and loves. So I talk about starting your morning off slow on the weekend. And this is the backyard and you see it was rain and we had the hammock up it was it was up because the rain was coming down yesterday but to start your mornings off on the weekend like on a sunday just kind of taking your time but i know the week's coming around and you maybe have a schedule so i'm going to say number one to win back your body is to set an alarm and i say set an alarm on your now you may be able to get up without an alarm but i would say is if you tend to hit the snooze button and you tend to like roll over in bed and not want to get up is to really make it structured time that you get up at a certain time now if you need to get your exercise in that could be helpful to have yourself set your time and say hey i know the only time i'm going to get my workout in as early in the morning or I'm going to be able to prep my food for the day as early in the morning. So make sure while you may be sleeping in today is that you set yourself a time that you're going to get up. And when you get up, you get up at that time. There's some discipline that you need to do, but you have to start somewhere. Even if you give yourself a little leeway on the weekends like I do, which is okay, um, but definitely to start off while you may start off your, your day on Sunday slow. Today's, today's the day get to get ready and prep for tomorrow to make a plan to have yourself set up at a time. So that's first, getting up, right? And then the other thing is you're going to probably need a to-do list. So like, so like how is that going to help me win my body back? A to-do list will be able to 
Give yourself what your objectives are for the day, what you need, your goals set for the day. Now you have your to-do list. We talked a little while back about a not to do to-do list. Well, it's good to have those. In other words, things that may be taking you away. And I know there's things that I struggle with. I'm, I'm just gonna be completely transparent. I get stuck and I get distracted. And then I realize that the things that I needed to get done didn't get done, the day is done, and then I have to start all over the next day. And I don't know if you can feel me on that, um, but it is. It's uh, definitely easy to get distracted these days, it seems, for every, on all different aspects. Um, but I would say is to write, while you're writing a not to do to-do list, by the way, what that is, is basically writing a list of the things that you don't need to do, but at the same time, now you have this open space, this maybe magic time, if you will, and time where you can fill in the gaps of saying, hey, I need to prepare my foods. I need to make sure that I have time for me. I need to make sure I get my work done. I need to make sure that I have some time for my family. So those will be helpful. Why is that helpful? Because you have that kind of structure. You can win your body back and then these all things connect, right? It all connects. So having the structure, you can schedule out your workout, schedule out the time that you need to maybe make dinner or lunch or prepare, prepare for the next day. That's really, really the key. So make sure you have, again, it's pretty straightforward. Make sure you have that kind of structure. Number three is to schedule it in. Okay, just write it on a piece of paper. Actually schedule it in your phone. Make reminders. I know one of the things that people... Uh, in my coaching program, by the way, I am an online fitness coach and I, I started what's called the Lean Body Breakthrough. It is a specific program designed for busy moms and dads over 40 who are looking to lose weight and keep it off, not just lose weight, keep it off without long workouts and impossible diets. Now, if you want more information, you can share with me that. But I would say is one of the things that I tell my students in my program that works really well is to set alarms, set alarms. You want to drink more water? Set an alarm for the day. Hey, I need to have 75 ounces of water per day. Okay, so make sure that if a 30 year day is over, make sure you have 25 ounces of water. Set that alarm. Hey, did you drink 25 ounces? Put that on your phone. It's easy to set alarms. So that's very helpful. But just in that is scheduling it in your planner. Schedule it in your phone. Today could be the very first day that you actually use your phone outside of looking at social media, watching lives like mine, and actually using your schedule it in there to plan some things out and that's how you get that structure and how you win and how you win your body back is being able to to do the things that are going to help you win your body back like exercise eating healthy maybe taking some dime time diet down time <laughs> down time okay i got that right that was three number four we got we're coming on number four Here's one of the big ones is, as I say, meal prep. If you can just plan, if you're like a, we're a family of four, is to plan out. Today could be a perfect day that you plan out. Okay, my wife and I do this. We're not always perfect. What we try to do on Sundays, most of the time, 80% of the time, is we'll write down and we'll say, hey, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And now we're not going out. We've been able to go out to eat a little bit or take food in. Did it over the weekend. Typically, we have our date nights Thursday night. So that's kind of already like a non-negotiable. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have to make food. So we just make a list, a menu. It takes like 10 minutes. Hey, this is what we're going to do today. Typically, Mondays we grill. Tuesdays we do something with tacos. Wednesdays we maybe have leftovers or we'll do maybe breakfast for dinner. Thursdays is date night. Fridays we sometimes do together. Maybe we'll do a grill again or we'll make something kind of like fancy, if you will. And then on the, depending on what the kids are doing, then on Saturdays and Sundays, it's kind of hit or miss. So again, but having that menu for your family could be really, really helpful. And when you're making a menu, you can also plan out how to win my body back. Well, what does that have to do with the body? Well, you can plan out the healthy meals by having that menu. Then you can make, if you need to adjust some things for you and for your kids, then you can do that, right? So then the next thing is, of course, your workouts. Workouts. Say how many plan out your workouts. Here's the thing. It, does this, does there a common theme going on here right now? The common theme is, hey, Linda and Bridget, uh, Bridget, I think, and Dave, what's going on? Appreciate you. Thank you for joining here. Just want to say hello. Thank you so much. And Sarah, appreciate you as well. Hope you're all doing really, really well. It's really nice to see people, some familiar faces, some new faces on here. Thank you, by the way, for listening. We're talking about the seven tips to, to win your body back, seven helpful tips. Now, I was just talking about planning your meals, but then let's planning your workouts. And we touched base a little bit of that as far as having a plan and then make a goal for yourself. How many workouts do you want to get in? Well, it's easy to say to yourself, like you can like put it in your mind, say, I'm going to work out four times this week. And then you work out two times. Well, again, put it down and actually to map out what you want to do. Well, it's hard to know what you want to do if you don't know what you want to achieve. And if you're not setting any goals, then it's kind of like you're just going through the motions. Well, I know I need to exercise. Or I know I need to do this but you don't have anything specific set up for goals. So maybe kind of you might need to reverse 
kind of uh, go in the reverse order and look back first at what your goals are and then dictate how many workouts I need to get in. Maybe now it's the end of the month. What you can do for maybe for June, or sorry, July, is to to own up and say, hey, for July, I want to do X amount of workouts. I want to do 25 workouts in the, or 20 workouts in the month of July and then map that in and plan it out. Again, now what you do with those workouts is going to dictate whether or not you get results. That's a whole nother story, but that's not what we're talking about right now. In fact, if you have no idea how to get results from your workouts, then you need to hit me up because I work with people for one of those, for that very reason, and to help make sure that they're doing the time that they're spending and planning and, and all the prep work and taking time out of their day to exercise that they're going to get the most out of their workouts. Does that make sense? So again, that's planning your workouts. Next, here's one that really is hard. I know it's hard, parents. I know moms... I would say moms, I think dads don't have it as maybe as hard. Moms definitely have it harder because you're doing, and I'm just saying this from a, a, a dad who sees my wife as a mom that does for everybody else. She does for everybody else, takes care of my needs, her, my, our children's needs. She does doing so much for so many other people. And sometimes it's easy to forget about the self-care. And I'm not talking about like getting your hair done and nails did and, you know, pedicure. Man, I'm, I'm saying if that's you, that's fine. But I'm not just talking about that. It's just simply taking time for you, taking time. Hey, Dave, taking time for you away from the, not, uh, away from the mess. Maybe it's just going for a walk. By yourself maybe it's just going for a drive in the car where you're not going to work you're not going to the grocery store you're not taking the kids to the ball field although not many people are doing that right now but you're actually just doing for you like that's a, and and I say that is because when you can reduce if that helps to reduce your stress levels guess what it helps to reduce maybe those stress hormones and maybe guess what it reduces those cortisol levels and guess what that could potentially be what is the main problem keeping you from your best body. Does that make sense? I hope it does because it is part of it and it's what I've seen. I've seen time and time again where women dial in their workout, men and women both. They, and I'm not being biased here by no means, but I will say is in, in, in a, uh, a negative way is that I do see often women, men don't have it too hard. They tend to be pretty open. We keep things in compartmentalized and we're able to take care of uh, ourselves. And maybe we just are taking care of ourselves as having beers on the weekends, right? Whatever that looks like. But I will say it seems to be for guys, they have a little easier uh, uh, easier way of taking time. I know it's not that hard for me. I'll go for a paddleboard, I'll go work out and I'm good to go. Uh, but I know my wife has to be intentional and I know other women that are in my coaching program, we really have to focus on the intentionality for self-care. Self-care is truly what sometimes is the biggest factor getting in the way of your best body, right? And I'm talking about this over 40. Why did I put this over 40? Because it gets harder when we get older. There's more responsibilities and you're like, no, 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 my kids are, now here's, I wanna share this with you because I found this. I've, I've kind of discovered this is when we get older, our kids get older. Now, my kids are teenagers. I have a 17-year-old next week and I have a 15-year-old. And while they're definitely more in independent than, say, younger kids, is that now we have parents who are less independent and require a little bit more help. And then our, our own selves, it's harder to take care of ourselves as we get older if we're not very mindful of that. So self-care is really, really important on that. That's number six. Number seven. Now, I would say is now, I won't say that to get to bed early, like, and I mentioned that as far as like, hey, it's really helpful to get to bed early, but this is more important. Whether you're a night owl or you're like, you go to bed at eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever, and you, you have six, seven hours sleep. And when I say go to bed early, the biggest thing that I can help you for your body, and this is really, really, I want you to chime in on this, all those other things included in there, is what's the biggest thing that keeps people from getting in the best shape of their life? 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. It typically is consistency, is the consistency. You're going to hear that, right? You hear that all the time. That word is almost like <clears throat> people throw it up almost like they're talking about um, the, the coronavirus. I got to be consistent, got to be consistent, got to be consistent. Yes, yes, consistency. So your sleep habits, if you have fluctuating sleep habits. In other words, if you go to bed one night, say on a weekend at nine, and then during the week, it's like 12, and then you get up in middle of the night, and then you get up maybe at four in the morning, and then the next, if your sleep habits are off, it's going to be really hard because what happens, your body likes, 
your body likes the uh, similar things. It likes the homeostasis, if you will. It likes being synergized with the food you eat and the exercise and the sleep. Those are the things that you need to dial in. That's essentially the difference between, I had a conversation. Well, Mark, why, you know, I've tried this diet. I tried keto and HCG diet and I tried the Weight Watchers and I tried the trainers and I tried this and it nothing worked. I tried uh, counting macros, I tried counting calories, I tried all those apps, I tried using a Fitbit, I tried personal trainers, I tried this, I have this conversation often with people. I've tried all these things and none of them work. And you know why? The difference is you're relying on, you're focused on one thing, typically. People are focused on one thing. It's on the diet. It's on the exercise where you need to synergize it. In other words, you need to get things working together, like in a system, like an ecosystem, if you will, your body, your sleep habits, your self-care habits, your eating habits, your workout habits, all of those things combine. Your sleep habits. Did I say sleep habits? Those things combine. All of that, if you can start to work on those things, you can truly win back your body. And the list of the seven things that I just talked about right now are ways to help you win back. Hey, Patty and Cindy and Christy are ways that you can win back your body. Now, okay, Mark, you told me all these things, how to do that. Well, that's pretty much what I do for a living. You see, the difference between what I offer as a fitness coach and what typically things that people are attracted to that are marketed really well, mass marketed, it's the 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 crazy hard workouts, right? The over the top workouts that are not appropriate for people over 40, unless you're already gifted in that department, unless you already have a background in exercise and training and coaching, if you've maybe been an athlete your life, then those are typically really great and really great for you if you are in that department. But the majority of people are not. The majority of people have been struggling, stuck with their weight for a long time, maybe years, five, 10, 15, or more years, is that it's hard, it's really hard. Not that it can't work, but typically injury gets in the way and stuff. But the same thing with diets. Why do diets only work the time you do them? Because you're only relying on the diet to do the work. It has to be a, there has to be a, a, a shift in the mindset. And once the mindset shifts, it's like, hey, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I know the best way that I can get weight off and get my best body back is if I start to dial in, start to dial in. All right, we're gonna dial in, I'm gonna be here. Here, let's do this. You start to dial in your nutrition. What your needs are in your 40s, you start to dial that in. And guess what? And then you start to dial in on your sleep habits. And like, how do I improve my sleep habits? Well, you know, here are the steps. Start to dial in my exercise. And then I start to dial in self-care. Start to dial in on, uh, what else do we have here? Mindset. Then after that, then we start to dial in those things. Okay, well, I know these are all the things I need. Well, I gotta now make a plan. Now I have to have some structure. Now I have to put my schedule in order. Now I have to really, now it sounds like a lot. It sounds like it's so much work on the front end. It really does. It sounds like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do that? There's no way possible. I can't even eat healthy during the week. How am I gonna eat healthy and get all, well, they start to work together for you. Again, that ecosystem, they, when you start to work a really good quality plan, then guess what? Your plan starts to work really well for you. And if you want to get your body back, if you're over 40, again, why I'm saying this now, because Sundays are the times where like, oh, Mark, I did, I overdid it Friday. You know, I wasn't planning on drinking so much. And then I went off the rails a little bit with my plant, my program. And then, you know, I went on the scale on Saturday and or Sunday. I know I have to, you know, now, now my students have to take progress pictures and measurements and get on the scale and report to me. So again, there's a lot of extra accountability, but there, there's uh, times where the weekends get and you get in the way. There's a saboteurs that happen and you end up sabotaging your efforts. And uh, unfortunately, people that are relying on say one thing, I'm gonna rely on what, how many calories I'm burning, I'm gonna rely on uh, how many macros I'm eating, I'm gonna rely on you know, on this pill, or I'm gonna rely on the 500 calorie diet. Please, just whatever you do, just tell me, just, please just don't do this. Please, 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 please. Please don't think that 500 calorie diets are going to get you in the best shape of your life. They're not gonna get your body back. Please, 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 in addition to that, please don't think that just because, notice I said I didn't say weight loss in the topic, your title, as to get your body back over 40 to get your body back, get it back into the best health. So here's the thing. 
you don't get your body back in the best health by just losing weight. You get it by actually taking the excess weight off and getting your body in shape. You can't just get in shape by losing weight. That is not getting in shape. That's losing weight. Getting in shape is actually getting some exercise in, getting the things that you need to get stronger. You wanna get stronger, you wanna get leaner, you wanna get more fit, to have more stability, have more balance. Those are things too. You wanna do something for your metabolism, the worst thing you could do is a 500 calorie diet. It's going to wreck your system. In fact, I've seen it time and time again. So here's the thing. While I share with you the seven tips to win your body back over 40, if you wanna win your body back, you got to stop losing at all those other things that we were talking about. Just stop. Just actually don't give up. Don't give up. But don't think that it's easy, as easy as having an app on your phone or having, you know, having just the diet to do the trick or having these pills to do the trick or having this cleanse to do the trick or having this hardcore workout to do the trick or think that hours and hours on a treadmill is going to do the trick. Those can all be helpful tools that you can use and people use them all the time, but isn't truly that's going to, what's going to get your body back. It requires consistency and it requires maybe taking a look at those seven things as your first, your next step this week. Go back, if you're just coming on here now, live, go back and watch what I'd shared with you. I'll save this and I'll put it in. And by the way, I'm gonna actually do this day. I haven't done it yet. We're 91 episodes of The Daily Dose. And I actually have them, all of these get recorded to YouTube. And I have all 91 episodes and they're all labeled. And if you found this valuable, there might be, if you scroll through, not all of them, but maybe some of them, you're like, oh, this one I'm interested in. And maybe you can go check that out. If you like what you had, all I ask is that you share this with one other person and you're like, why the heck do you, why are you doing this? Well, you know, I have a business, of course. My objective isn't to sell you into a coaching program, mine. it's just to provide as much value as I can so that you start taking better care of your own personal health, whether it's your body, you know, whether it's getting the weight off, whether it's getting stronger, whether it's getting into some sort of routine, getting some consistency. And if you don't know what that looks like, of course, of course, reach out to me. We'll talk about it. We'll see if my Lean Body Bro Breakthrough coaching program is a good fit for you. I know it's not a good fit for you because I'm really at the point in my life I'm only looking for success stories. So if you want success and you're having a hard time finding it on your own, and maybe you want to have like a successful body in a sense, you want it back, you can over 40. I see people over 40 and over 50. And if you haven't seen any of my testimonies, there's a whole bunch more coming that I'm proving it time and time again. It helps to have 25 years of experience under my belt. And I'll tell you what, if you're not where you want to be, if you're, if you don't have that body back again, I know it's not, it's not the only thing to think about right now in this world, right? But if you're just, if you suck at it, if you're just really struggling right now, why are you not reaching out for help? You could be making one of the best investments by having a coach in your corner to can lead you down the right path to getting consistency and everything you need so that you're, if you're in your 40s, your 50s could be the best time of your life. If you're in your 50s, the 60s could be the best time of your life. But again, if you're struggling and stuck with all these things, it's gonna be really, really hard to do. So anyway, those are seven health uh, healthy tips that you can use to win your body back if you're over 40. Now, will this help if you're 39? Of course it will. In fact, I have a few people on my program that are not 40 yet, but they are like, Mark, I don't want to wait until my 40s. I, I want to be the success story now. I don't want to wait until my kids are teenagers. I know right now the best opportunity I can have for my children is to actually get myself in the best shape now so that when they are teenagers, I can enjoy time instead of it being spent trying to get my body back in order. So that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. Happy Sunday to you. It is a blessed Sunday. I'm very grateful for you. I'm very grateful for God to give you this kind of platform to be able to share what I know, what really has, has been my really lifelong pursuit is just helping as many people as I can. And my goal in this year, in 2020, despite whatever's going on and craziness, is to help over a thousand people. So if you're one of them, congratulations. I hope this found value for you and I hope you have an amazing, amazing blessed week. Take care.